killer fish invading lakes and rivers around the world, and the latest research. In addition to disrupting ecosystems, these invasive species are causing a serious concern for scientists, environmentalists, and sometimes even for local communities. We'll also explore with the most recent studies how these dangerous fish are spreading and what they're doing to our environment. Now let's have a look at the most notorious killer fish making news and inflaming ecosystems in the entire world. Snakehead fish, the land walking predator. For example, snakehead fish, which have been recently studied because it has spread so fast. Snakeheads native to Asia and Africa are now doing real damage in the United States, Canada, and parts of Europe. The reason the snakehead populations are growing so quickly in North America is a 2023 study from the University of Maryland revealed that snakeheads are so unique in their ability to survive in so many conditions. In short, snakeheads can breathe air and walk and can therefore quickly invade new lakes and rivers. They're very difficult to control as a result. Its aggressive predation habits got them dubbed a biological bulldozer for wiping out local fish species, one of them said. But the threat expands as scientists experiment with a variety of strategies for containing the substances, including DNA tracking to indicate their presence in waterways before they became a bigger problem. Northern pike, the freshwater predator expanding its reach. Another is the northern pike, a predatory fish which has expanded its habitat range recently. Like biologists who report on them, the pike have gone from an unwelcome novelty to an ecological scourge, meeting out major disruptions to local ecosystems and lakes where they weren't found before, according to a 2022 report from Fisheries and Oceans Canada. They also have a particularly aggressive appetite and can get as large as four feet long, making them one of the fish with the most teeth or teeth alike in freshwater environments. Pike have one of the greatest dangers to other marine creatures because they easily adjust to the existing water conditions. Though they can live in both clear and murky water, the ability to spread to new parts of the world in which native species are unprepared for such aggressive predator continues to allow them to survive. The species aren't being eliminated, but they are apparently being displaced, leaving the Canadian Wildlife Federation currently working to determine the long-term effects of pike invasions on native fish species. And they have found that marked biodiversity decreases occur when pike takes over. Lionfish moving from oceans to freshwater systems? A new study set to appear early 2024 in marine biology research reveals a surprising new finding. The lionfish, an undefeated invader of Atlantic and Caribbean waters, is now a predator in brackish and freshwater ecosystems. Lionfish are a marine species that have ravaged coral reef ecosystems with their venomous spines and indiscriminate feeding habits. They originally entered the world's oceans as aquarium imports. Recently, researchers have been finding lionfish in estuarine systems where freshwater meets saltwater, including rivers and lakes. They are concerned about where this newly introduced species could spread. These fish are notorious for consuming juvenile fish voraciously, and in areas where native species struggle to survive, can cause ecological collapse. Organized hunting expeditions and robotic lionfish terminators have been attempts to control the lionfish population in oceans. However, the recent discovery of lionfish in brackish waters suggests that the battle is far from over. Asian carp, a threat to North America's Great Lakes. Ever since the Asian carp invasion, it has been an ongoing concern. New studies, including some published this year by the U.S. Geological Survey, have revealed just how far these fish have spread. Initially used to control algae and plankton in fish farms, Asian carp are now ubiquitous in the Mississippi River Basin and are on the verge of entering the Great Lakes. Their daily consumption of up to 40% of their body weight in plankton leaves them out competing native species such as perch and trout, according to the USGS report. They also reproduce rapidly, quickly outpacing new environments. If Asian carp make their way into the Great Lakes, the report warns that they could inflict billions of dollars worth of damage damage to fisheries and local economies. Efforts to prevent this invasion have included the construction of electric barriers in key waterways. However, the study cautions that these barriers may not be sufficient. A multi-layered effort, including mechanical removal and public awareness, is needed. Piranhas, new sightings in unexpected places. Fearsome piranhas have recently been sighted in lakes and rivers outside their native habitats in South America. A 2023 study by the Brazilian National Institute of Amazonian Research found illegal piranha releases in lakes in Southeast Africa and Asia, where they are becoming an invasive species. Piranhas are less popular, but have been introduced to other regions by people who purchase them as exotic pets. When these owners can no longer care for the fish, they often release them into the wild, causing serious ecological damage. In non-native environments, piranhas reproduce rapidly deplete local fish populations and create ecological imbalances. Despite recent scientific findings, piranhas thrive in slightly cooler waters than previously known. This research has raised concerns that they could spread to even more regions if not checked. The latest research is ringing the alarm bells on the fast spread of killer fish invading lakes and rivers all over the world. The northern pike is changing ecosystems and the snakehead can now walk on land. These predators have become a global crisis, scientists say, not just a regional problem. Do you have any of these killer fish in your area?